Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Today I have another beer from a Brewery Bavana out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, this beer... Sorry, I got a weird text. This beer is uh, called Sow. I think that's... I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. Um, it is a... Uh, it's their table beer. And table beer means different things for different breweries. I mean, generally, it's like a, a simple, somewhat Belgian-style um, beer that's usually lower in alcohol. Uh, some breweries, it's like a um, like a petite saison. Some of them, it's that, but it's actually like wild, has bread in it or something. Um, this one, just judging by the uh, description, it sounds like it's more like a Belgian pale ale. Uh, because it says, this crisp and sparkling Pater's beer is hopped with a single variety, the beloved Czech Saws. So, to me that almost sounds more like a Czech Pilsner, but it says you'll find it only slightly bitter with a mild earthy flavor and faintly herbal nose. So, I'm assuming it's still going to be something that's very crisp, clean, easy to drink. It is low in alcohol, it's 4.2 ABV. Uh, so, I'm pretty excited for this. I haven't had a lot of their stuff that is not uh, wild, so I'm definitely interested. If it was wild, I would still be interested too, because I that's why I like them so much, because their wild beers are great, but definitely interested to try something uh, clean from them too. So as you can see, of course, a, um, a pretty cloudy... <coughs> uh, straw color. It almost looks like lemonade, but uh, a little lighter. Um, it had a, a white head, but it dissipated very, very quickly. <clears throat> Interesting. I'm trying to... It has a very doughy aroma, um, but almost like, not like pizza dough or like bread dough but almost or I guess like like sourdough bread like it almost smells like it's gonna be sour but I don't think it's gonna be it actually reminds me of some of the um the clean uh fauna flora saisons but it's definitely very earthy it has a little bit of that um almost like chamomile character uh it smells really nice though I'm excited to try it Man, that is really tasty. Uh, it's definitely not tart, though. It's definitely clean. Uh, it kind of... It reminds me of a slightly bigger version of... Uh, shit. Now I can't think of what the beer's called. But it was... Uh, Fauna Flora's canned Saison they did. It was basically like an unfruited version of all the fruited dry Saisons. Uh, my, with uh, chamomile in it. Now I can't think of what the heck it's called. I want to say it was called Bubbles, or something like that. Um, this reminds me of that a lot, uh, because it does almost have like an, an herbal, like chamomile taste. Uh, but it's definitely um doughy and bready, and it, there's definitely a good bit of earthy hops to it. But like the description said, it's not like bitter. Um, you know, it's just bitter enough to balance out the beer. It's not like bitter, like an IPA or anything, even close to that. Uh, but it's just, it tastes very earthy, uh, and herbal and doughy. I, I think it's absolutely fantastic. This is, to me, this is a great example of a, uh, a table beer because to me a table beer is something that's very simple something that would go like the reason it's called a table beer is it's sitting on the table like to eat with uh and i feel like you could eat this with a ton of different or drink this with a ton of different foods and it would go well with almost any of them um you know some people like beers that really complement specific foods to me I'm usually not about that. Uh, I don't... Other than maybe, like, dessert beers, 
with desserts. <clears throat> I generally, probably because I don't eat seafood either, because I know a lot of, I'm sure, like, wild, like, blonde wild ales would probably be really good with seafood, but I, usually if I'm drinking beer with food, I, I want something really simple and refreshing, and I think this would be uh, an absolutely perfect thing for that, um, and I, I don't know how much this costs because I bought it with, uh, like, several other things. But I'm guessing it was probably, like, $4 a can. And that was, I'm assuming, marked up because I don't they don't distribute to uh, Charlotte. So I'm guessing the person who got this actually got it at Raleigh and drove it back here. So I'm assuming it was marked up a little bit, which I have no problem with. But, I you know, if I was judging it on price alone, I would try to give the, um, like, what it actually cost in Raleigh because... You know, that's the real price at the brewery or somewhere around there. Um, but regardless, anywhere from 3 to $5, this is absolutely worth it. It's very, very tasty. Uh, and I, this is also a beer that I think would just appeal to, like, so many different people. Um, I feel like it would appeal to, like, my, uh, Bud Miller Coors people, uh, people who like like wheat beers or sour beers, I feel like it would appeal to them. Um, just so it's just such a, a simple beer, but it's also really flavorful at the same time. I love this. Um, yeah, that is so good. I still have yet to go to Raleigh since I've been down here, but I've been meaning to do it. And when I do go, if they have this, I'm going to buy probably like a case of it because this is a hell of a, a lawnmower beer. Um, <clears throat> like sometimes I like really light hoppy beers that I would call lawnmower beers. But this, even that, I would kind of get tired of the hop flavor. This is just like so simple that I don't think I would ever get tired of this. This is an everyday beer if there ever was one. Very, very good. Um, so I think it's pretty obvious about what I was, I've been saying, but... Based on my scale of buy, drink, dump, this is absolutely a buy. Uh, like I said, I'm, if I have the opportunity to get it at a decent price at the brewery, I'm probably going to buy a case of it just to have in the fridge. Um, killer, killer stuff. I really, really like this. And, you know, their, their wild stuff is what got me hooked on them. But this thing is like... I'll be buying this more than anything because assuming it's significantly cheaper than those. And it's just something that I want to drink every day. So I think that's all I got in this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.